Hello my friends and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day. I have a thrift haul to share with you and it has been a while, hasn't it? I pretty much took most of January off. Didn't really film anything. I just kind of hibernated and you know, did my own thing. And then in February, I started deep cleaning my house and downsizing some of my collections. So there was a lot of work going on there, which I didn't really feel like filming. So here we are in March already, and I'm like, I need to start filming again. So I am hoping to get back into the swing of things and at least be able to share with you guys at least one video per week. I also posting a little bit more over on Instagram. So if you're wondering what I'm doing in between um, videos here on YouTube, come check me out over there. I'm posting more things in my stories and on my feed so you can kind of see what I'm up to even though I'm not recording everything like I used to all the time. So with that being said, let's get into today's haul. Um, I kind of took a little break from thrifting too, which is kind of crazy, but don't worry, I am totally back into it now and I cannot wait to share with you what I have found the last couple of weeks. So let's get started. So the very first thing to share with you guys today is a vintage tablecloth. It was 524 and it is a gorgeous floral, pink and red floral, which I think is so gorgeous. I love it. I'm going to use this on my dining room table um, because I'm definitely going to be using the pinks and the greens again in my decor for this spring. So this will be perfect and it's the perfect size for the table in there. So I was super thrilled to find that. The next thing I found were some wooden hangers for $2.99. There's a three pack of them. They're just basic. I was looking for some, you know, vintage looking ones. These aren't quite the bill, but I really wanted at least something. Um, that was sort of heavy duty looking and I liked these. There's two that have like these little rubber sections on it, which I think will come in very nicely. And then the other one is just basically plain, if you can see that there. So I have, the reason I was looking for something like this is that if you've seen photos of my office, I have a vintage wedding dress that I found and I have it hanging in my office. Well, I have a few other things too that are like vintage clothing items that I want to hang up and display. So I wanted a, a heavy duty hanger to hang things on. I can switch it out for the seasons. So let me show you a quick little shot of what I'm talking about and I am how I'm using the hanger. excited to put those wood hangers to work and I think it looks really good and it's working very nicely. So I'm loving that. I don't know if you noticed or not, but I'm just hanging the dress on a little plant hook that I picked up at the hardware store. It's perfect. So I'm loving that. I'm trying to think of maybe possibly another way to hang another one somewhere in the room that I can hang some of my other, you know, vintage clothes items on. But I'm not sure. I don't want to like overdo it. So for now it works well and I can just like switch out things and change it up a little bit from time to time. So the next thing I picked up were a couple of lampshades. I've actually been on the lookout for some smaller sized ones for a couple months now and I found two within a week span of each other. They're both a $3.99. Um, there's this one right here. Just your basic white but it's a small size. So I thought that was great. And then there is this um, one as well, which is slightly smaller. And this one is a silk instead of like a linen. I don't know if you can see, I don't think it's really showing up very well, but there are a few spots on this that are slightly discolored right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but for the most part, it's in pretty good condition other than those few little spots. And I found from a distance, you really can't tell. I may try to, remove those spots. I'm wondering if possibly like my spot bot, my Bissell, you know, like little steam cleaner would work. I'm not really sure. I'm a little afraid to try because I don't want to make it worse, but I may just go ahead and do it. I'm going to probably do it by hand first, see if I can't remove that. So if anyone has any tips on how to clean fabric lampshades that have slight stains on them, 
well, let me know. I'd be very interested to know what you've done in the past. So leave me a comment down below if you guys have some, some suggestions for me. That would be very helpful. I've also been on the lookout lately for vintage frames. I've been looking for landscape, you know, paintings, that sort of thing. But I also would like to find some vintage frames so that I could put my own artwork in. Um, and I found this cute little one. It does have some artwork in it, which I'm not super thrilled about, but it was only $1.99. And the frame itself is super cute. It's got this nice little mat in it. And then it's got like this poem about my friend, which is sort of sweet. And it's got these cute little birds. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to be um, using this as it is or if I'm going to put something else in it. I'm not really sure. I haven't quite decided yet. But I absolutely love the frame. Oh, there you go. Hopefully you can see that. So I just thought it was absolutely perfect and the size is really good. So I love that. And for $2, I mean, you really can't pass that up, right? So the next thing I picked up was $3.99, and I was super excited. Not that I need another hand mirror, but I didn't have anything in this color, and I'm absolutely loving the color yellow lately, so I could not pass it up. It's this gorgeous yellow and black number, and oh my gosh, you guys, I love it so much. The mirror itself is in really good condition still, and I just love it. I mean, look at the handle. It even has this wonderful detailing on it and I just think it is so cool I love it so I just could not pass this up um this isn't Bakelite there's another name for it it's not coming to me right now but it's definitely plastic is it I think it starts with a C I can't it's not coming to me I'm sorry but I love it I think it is so cool so I'm going to add this to my collection of hand mirrors I'll definitely be taking this one out for, um, for summer. I mean, I have quite a few in my collection, and I kind of just, like, rotate them on my little desk in my bedroom. So this will be a nice little pop of color for spring on my desk. I am so excited to use it. All right, so this next item, I'm not really quite sure what it was originally made for. It was $3.99, and I just fell in love with it. It's like this little metal... It's got a hanging thing, and then it's, I don't know. It looks like to me like it should have a candle in here. So that's basically probably what I will use it for. Or I'm thinking maybe a little plant inside of it, kind of make it kind of like a little, I don't know, a little more decorative plant stand sort of thing. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it is originally for. But I love it. I think it is so cool. I love the wrought iron. I've always done, liked that. And I think it looks so nice in my house with the, against the white or creamy walls. So I'm super excited. This is going probably in this little nook over here like as soon as I'm done. Because I've been waiting to share it with you guys so I could use it. So by tonight, this will have a candle in it and I will totally be using it. <laughs> the next thing I have to share with you is a side table. I found it for $4.80, a total steal. And it is the cutest little table you have ever seen. Um, I'll share, and I've already given it a makeover. So I'll share with you what it looked like first. And then I'll share with you what it looks like now. And I love it. Not the cutest table ever. I love it. Um, it was in a little rough condition when I first got it. I had a lot of patching and uh, like hole filling. It looks like a dog had kind of chewed on the legs a little bit. So I had to do a lot of patching. Um, I gave it a couple coats of primer and then I gave it a couple coats of paint on top of that and then a top coat to protect it. Um, and I think it turned out really nice. I love it. I think it is so, so adorable. And I'm super thrilled with how it turned out. And such a good price. At like $4.80. You can't go wrong. And the best part, I don't know if you caught it or not, but it has wheels on the bottom of the legs, which is so fun. So I'm loving the table, needless to say. All right, so that brings me to my very last item for the day, which is 
a total bucket list item. It's something that I had hoped to find at the thrift stores, but really never thought I would. It was, I think, $14.99. I cannot find the receipt for it, but I'm pretty sure that's how much it was. And it is <laughs> a turkey terrain. I have been wanting one of these for years, you guys. And I am so thrilled to have found it. Look at this little guy. Isn't he adorable? It even has the ladle. Um, it does say made in Italy on the bottom. And I am so excited. I wish I had found it before Thanksgiving. But of course, now I have to wait until Thanksgiving to use it. But I want to use it as a centerpiece and like put like um, greenery and flowers and candles around it. And I think it's going to look so adorable. And I'm just so thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. Like it has been something that I've been looking for for probably like four or five years now. So I could not believe I found this. <laughs> All right. So that is my thrift haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I sure enjoyed sharing it with you guys. I would love to know which of the items I found was your favorite for the day. So leave me a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up. And of course, come visit me over on Instagram as well. Have yourself a fabulous day, and I will see you next week for another video. Bye now.